Take a trip back in time with these vintage photos, showcasing the fashion, technology, and social norms of a bygone era. Each image is a window into the past, revealing the rich history of iconic celebrities and everyday people. Scott Weiland, a star football player at Edison High School in California, showed early signs of his musical talent and passion during halftime shows with his band. After graduating, his musical career took off with Stone Temple Pilots' debut album Core, leading to hits like Wicked Garden and Plush and earning them two Grammy Awards. Despite his passing in 2015, his legacy lives on through his timeless music and influence on future musicians. The trio of Doc Severinsen, Johnny Carson, and Ed McMahon were the faces of late-night television for decades, creating an atmosphere of fun and nostalgia for viewers. The 1960s saw the Cartwright family celebrating Christmas at their Ponderosa ranch, exchanging gifts and stories while classic holiday movies played in the background. Pop Singh prepared delicious food as the family reminisced about the past. Celebrate the holidays with a cast shot of The Andy Griffith Show, featuring Andy Taylor, Barney Fife, and Aunt B, bringing joy and laughter for eight seasons. The iconic chestburster seen in Ridley Scott's 1979 classic science fiction horror movie, Alien, shocked and amazed the audience. Sigourney Weaver's character, Ripley, screamed in terror as a creature burst out from inside an astronaut's chest, leaving viewers speechless with their eyes wide open. The unexpectedness of the scene combined with its intense special effects created an unforgettable experience for the test audience, making it one of the most memorable and influential scenes ever put on film. At the age of two, Kurt Cobain was beginning to explore the world and had a passion for music, drawing, and make-believe games. His parents had no idea that he would eventually become a legendary rock icon. Alice Cooper and Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, posed for a photo at the 26th Annual Grammy Awards After Party in 1984, creating a truly memorable image. In 1956, new Ford Thunderbird carried Arthur Miller and Marilyn Monroe around New York City during their honeymoon, passing iconic landmarks like the Empire State Building, Times Square, and Central Park. Audrey Hepburn's career took off in 1953 with Roman Holiday, where she won an Academy Award for her performance as Princess and launching her legendary Hollywood career. In the classic 1960s sitcom My Favorite Martian, Bill Bixby and Ray Walston brought to life the beloved characters of Tim O'Hara and Uncle Martin. The show followed a newspaper reporter from Earth, living with his extraterrestrial Uncle Martin, who is disguised as an old man, as they navigate everyday life while facing all kinds of wacky adventures. In 1968, Clint Eastwood was seen on the set of Coogan's Bluff, feeding a squirrel, endearing himself to audiences everywhere. In 1978, music
Leipzig fans were treated to a show they would never forget as the legendary rock band The Rolling Stones took the stage at Madison Square Garden for an unforgettable concert experience. In 1956, a romantic date night at the drive-in, watching classic films like Giant or The Searchers while snuggling up in your car. Couples around you share snacks and stories, and you take in the stars shining down on a perfect evening. Farrah Fawcett, a beauty and style icon in the 1970s, promoted her own brand of shampoo with a stunning image of her signature hairstyle. In 1987, Freddie Mercury and Annie Lennox performed a duet at Bob Geldof's The Secret Policeman's Third Ball Benefit Concert, raising money for Amnesty International. Sally Field, a beloved actress with a career spanning five decades, earned an Academy Award for her portrayal of Norma Ray Webster in the film Norma Ray, based on a true story. Belinda Carlisle, the lead singer of the Go-Go's, was once a punk rocker, joining The Germs as their drummer and backup vocalist in 1977. During the filming of To Kill a Mockingbird in 1962, Gregory Peck was frequently spotted reading a book during breaks. As Atticus Finch, he portrayed one of literature's most cherished characters with his distinct elegance. Known for his dedication to his roles, Peck's immersion into Harper Lee's novel prepared him for a memorable performance that would become legendary. December 3, 1948 marked the birth of music legend John Michael Ozzy Osbourne, who has been a major force in rock and metal since his days fronting Black Sabbath in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Back in 1965, Felix Silla wore the cousin it costume for the Adams family, standing at 3 feet 11 inches and speaking in a strange language understood only by his family members. His look was completed with an oversized top hat and suit made from real human hair, taking three hours to apply each day on set. Despite being hidden under all that hair, Silla still managed to bring life and personality to the character, making him one of the most memorable parts of the show. The original cast of the classic 80s movie Ghostbusters looks like a blast from the past in their high school yearbook photos. From Bill Murray to Dan Aykroyd, these iconic actors were just starting out in showbiz when they posed for their senior pictures. Before they became household names and starred in some of the most beloved films of all time, they were simply teenagers with dreams of making it big. The original Ghostbusters cast is an inspiration that proves hard work can pay off. Jacqueline Smith, born in 1945 in Houston, Texas, rose to fame in the 1970s for her role as Kelly Garrett on Charlie's Angels. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, she continued her success with roles in popular films and television shows. During the wedding reception of Mick Jagger and Bianca Perez Mora Macias, Keith Richards passed out from exhaustion and was revived by Eric Clapton pouring champagne over him. Donna Summer, the queen of disco, was at her peak in 1976 with her album Four Seasons of Love, 
featuring hits like Last Dance. In 1980, a 20-year-old lady Diana Spencer was photographed outside her flat in London, just days before her engagement to Prince Charles was announced. Her iconic image would become immortalized in films. In 1980, brothers Malcolm and Angus Young of the iconic rock band AC/DC were in Nassau, Bahamas to record their legendary album, Back in Black. Back in 1982, a young Marissa Tomei was just starting out her acting career in New York City. A high school photo of the future Oscar-winning actress shows her with an infectious smile and long brown hair cascading down her shoulders. Her youthful optimism was evident even then, as she had already starred alongside Robert De Niro in the classic film, The King of Comedy, that same year. Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher were known for their iconic roles in films like Singin', In the Rain and Star Wars, as well as their close real-life bond as mother and daughter. Their love of Hollywood glamour and humor was evident both on and off screen, making them a dynamic pair. Even after Carrie's passing in 2016, their legacy lives on through their performances. On December 20, 1962, John H. Glenn Jr. made history by becoming the first American to orbit the Earth in his Friendship 7 spacecraft. Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta were the ultimate 70s power couple when they attended the premiere of their classic musical, Grease, in 1978. The two actors had already become household names after starring together in the hit movie adaptation of the Broadway show, and fans around the world swooned at the sight of them walking down the red carpet arm-in-arm. Arm. Grease remains one of the most beloved films of all time and is still celebrated today as a timeless classic. In 1984, Ozzy Osbourne proved his dedication to fatherhood by attempting to iron his shirt in the music video for, Bark at the Moon. Raquel Welch was a Hollywood icon in the 1960s, starring in popular films such as, One Million Years B.C. 1966, Fantastic Voyage, 1966, Bedazzled, 1967, and Bandolero. 1968, with her sultry eyes and bombshell figure, Welch captivated audiences around the world, becoming one of the most sought-after stars of the decade. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sandal Bergman trained extensively for their roles in Conan the Barbarian, and their hard work paid off with the movie's success. In 1968, Sonny and Cher were spotted walking through New York City, bundled up in 1960s attire, fresh off the success of their hit song, I Got You Babe, from their debut album Look At Us. They seemed to be enjoying each other's company as they took in the sights and sounds of the city. Tanya Roberts, the American actress and model, skateboarding barefoot in California during the late 1970s, representing the laid-back California lifestyle and the youthful rebellion and independence associated with skateboarding. The classic holiday special, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, first aired on television on December 6, 1964, 
and has since become a beloved tradition for generations of families to watch each year. The cast of the classic 80s show, Magnum, P.I. 1981, was an iconic group of actors that made us laugh and cry for eight seasons. Tom Selleck starred as Thomas Magnum, a private investigator living in Hawaii who solved cases with his friends Rick Wright, Larry Minetti, T.C. Calvin, Roger E. Mosley, and Higgins, John Hillerman. Stevie Nicks is an iconic singer-songwriter and member of the legendary band Fleetwood Mac, known for her unique style and ethereal voice. The Three Stooges, Larry, Moe, and Curly, have been a beloved comedy trio for generations. From their classic black-and-white shorts in the 1930s to their feature films like Have Rocket, Will Travel, 1959, and The Outlaws is Coming, 1965, they've kept us laughing for decades. Now imagine these three zany characters dressed up as Santa Claus. With their signature slapstick humor and wild antics, it's certain to be an unforgettable holiday experience. Tim Curry's portrayal of Dr. Frank Henfurter in the Rocky Horror Picture Show is unforgettable, bringing energy to the musical comedy that has been enjoyed by generations. Dennis Weaver is well remembered for his role in the 1971 drama-slash-thriller, Duel, directed by Steven Spielberg. A Christmas Story, released in 1983, is a beloved holiday classic that has been watched by generations of viewers. It follows the misadventures of Ralphie Parker as he tries to get his hands on a Red Ryder BB gun for Christmas, and captures the joys of childhood during the holidays. Janis Joplin's 1964 Porsche 356 C Cabriolet, originally purchased for $3,500, was painted in a psychedelic fashion and sold at auction in 2015 for $1.76 million. In the 1970s, car seats were often made of hard plastic and lacked many of the features we now consider standard, such as padding and adjustable harnesses. In 1970, Creedence Clearwater Revival released their third album, Cosmos Factory, which quickly became a classic. The record featured some of CCR's most iconic songs, including Lookin' Out My Back Door, Run Through the Jungle, and Who'll Stop the Rain. All of which were hits on both the Billboard Hot 100 and Top 40 charts. This album was so successful that it even spawned its own documentary film in 2020 titled CCR. Long Road Home. The 1953 Cadillac Series 62 Coupe by Ghia is a rare classic car with sleek lines and chrome accents, reminiscent of the unmistakable 1950s style. Its iconic tail fins and luxurious interior make it a sought-after collector's item today. In 1969, hippies were thriving and their influence was widespread, from Woodstock to San Francisco's Haight-Ashbury district. Hollywood also released Easy Rider, a movie that captured the spirit of the era with its soundtrack featuring classic songs from Jimi Hendrix and Steppenwolf.
Jane Seymour, an iconic actress, has been in the entertainment industry for over five decades, with a career that began in 1975. Russell Johnson, known for his role as Professor Roy Hinckley on Gilligan's Island, provided intelligence and ingenuity to help the castaways survive on the deserted island. Steve Perry and his girlfriend Sherry Swafford, who inspired his hit song, Oh Sherry, were a classic love story from the 1980s. In the summer of 1963, New York City was buzzing with activity, and Audrey Hepburn stopped at a hot dog stand while filming Breakfast at Tiffany's. The stand's bright colors and classic menu board made it an iconic backdrop for many films. The Little Rascals, also known as Our Gang, was a series of American comedy short films created by Hal Roach in 1922, featuring beloved characters such as Alfalfa, Spanky, Darla, Buckwheat, and Petey the Dog, who were loved by generations of fans for their mischievous antics and wild adventures. The 1972 classic, The Godfather, starring Al Pacino and Diane Keaton is an iconic movie that has stood the test of time. Cher portrayed the character of Alexandra Medford in the 1987 film, The Witches of Eastwick, alongside Michelle Pfeiffer and Susan Sarandon. Clint Eastwood, known for his roles in classic westerns, took breaks from filming Two Mules for Sister Sarah to play baseball with crew members using makeshift bats and balls made out of old socks. The iconic American television sitcom F Troop, which ran from 1965 to 1967, featured a beloved cast and comedic take on life in the Wild West, with characters like Corporal Randolph Agarn and Captain Wilton Parmenter. Amy Irving, a Hollywood icon, made her mark on the big screen in 1976 with a role in the horror classic, Carrie. Watching The Lone Ranger, the classic Western television series that aired from 1949 to 1957. It starred Jay Silverheels as Tonto and Clayton Moore as The Lone Ranger. Unfortunately, due to a contract dispute, Moore was replaced by John Hart from 1952 to 1954. This show has become an iconic piece of Americana, with its thrilling action sequences, catchy theme song, and memorable characters. To this day, it remains one of the most beloved shows of all time. 